Up until now, only a select few have known this secret about me. Welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my little motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. In today's video, I am going to be sharing a big secret about myself um, that I really haven't shared, but I kind of feel like it would probably be helpful and interesting to a lot of people, and I'm searching for advice as well. So let's get into it. So up until about 18 years old, I went the bed nearly every night and I'm sure you guys could understand why I probably wouldn't want to tell many people especially in my adolescence when it would be an easy target to make fun of and gossip and all of this other stuff. It was pretty traumatic for me um, just having that secret and being really embarrassed and sensitive about the topic and nothing really worked to fix the problem. So medically as far as I know it was called enuresis and that's how I would refer to it because it just, you know, it's better than hearing like, oh yeah, I'm a bedwetter. It's, you know, no, I, I have a neuresis. And so we tried a bunch of techniques and products to try and fix my problem. I tried medicines in the forms of pills and then there was like a nose spray. And I even had this one little device that you would like clamp. It was kind of like a button and you'd clamp it onto your underwear and it had this like like wire that came out and if that sensed any type of wetness or moisture or whatever it would buzz and hopefully then wake me up but i was such a deep sleeper that i would just sleep through it so that device was like you know pointless for me because i would still wake up and have my bed wet so we tried all these different things none of them worked and i was very discouraging to cope with the bedwetting, my mom would buy like the probably size seven or whatever diapers and I would essentially just wear them as like enormous pads at night. And then in addition to that, I would also usually lay like a large trash bag, like a big black trash bag on my bed, put a folded towel and sleep on that in case I filled up the diaper and continued to urinate. The whole plastic bag and towel, you know, coping mechanism was also used whenever I was invited to a slumber party or had to go on like an, a retreat away from home. I would have to bring this and like discreetly put it in my sleeping bag and, you know, get a diaper on somehow, whether I'm in my sleeping bag trying to put it on discreetly or go to the bathroom and like, you know, wrap an extra big blanket around me or whatever to try and hide this fact that I have to wear like diapers at night and I may even, you know, fill up the diaper and continue to urinate on whatever I was sleeping on. So not only did my condition like affect just kind of growing up and like the slumber parties, there was also a time in high school when like I made the varsity softball team and the tradition was that the previous varsity players would come and like kidnap you in the morning from your bed. So they would contact the parents, let them know like, hey, we want to, you know, get them from their bed and bring them in their pajamas and eat at Denny's before school. And I knew that that was a tradition. So I pretty much had to tell my mom, like, when this happens, like, wake me up earlier so that I'm already awake so that I can be prepared to go with them and like take the diaper off and um, clean up my room or like my bed or whatever if necessary and then you know I'll be okay and I think the way that it ended up playing out was my mom just told them like oh Emily will meet you at Denny's so I had to miss out on you know fun experiences that pretty much everyone else would have got to experience but because I didn't want the gossip and the ridicule and just the embarrassment of a condition that I really couldn't, you know, control, I had to make little sacrifices like that. And it also really worried me about marriage in the future. Like, what would my husband think um, if he wakes up and I've like urinated all over the bed? That was a big fear of mine. And so I was really blessed that at around 18 years old, 
I actually went to a healing mass and my intention for going to that healing mass was to be like cleansed of this condition, to be freed from this problem that was embarrassing, that was restrictive, you know, um, it really wasn't fun to have to always rely on my mattress cover and the plastic bag and the towel and the diapers and changing my sheets more frequently. It was, you know, a lot to handle. And it was something obviously I was used to by 18, but I really, I didn't want that to be my challenge anymore. And actually that was something that I, I use that word that was something that my mom called it and she would try to just say this is your challenge um, everyone has a different challenge and you know she'd list maybe different struggles that people in my life obviously exhibited and said that's their challenge so for anyone out there whose child is experiencing bedwetting and they obviously want to stop but it's just not you know right looking like it's in the cards for them maybe wording it as just like a challenge or a hurdle that they're gonna have to deal with um, and that they're just called to deal with and learn from is maybe a, a good way of talking with your child about it. But needless to say, I have a, a soft spot in my heart for people who struggle with this. And um, you know, I know what it's like to be embarrassed by that part of myself and I'm thankful that I also get to experience the other side of things that I know that now when I go to bed, if I need to use the restroom in the middle of the night, like I'll wake up and go to the restroom. And I think I'm still kind of like normal because there are times, you know, where like I'm dreaming and in my dream, I'm like trying to use the bathroom and there's no relief. So then like in my dream, I go back to the restroom and there's still no relief. And then like, finally I'm like, I wake up as I'm in my dream using the restroom and I'm like, oh my gosh, my body like really needed to go. And there's, so there's the occasional accident um, because maybe I'm just in such a deep sleep that, you know, it just didn't register. But thankfully that doesn't happen very often. And I think that is probably normal, but what I experienced growing up was like every night I could, I could count on pretty much having like a full diaper pad, whatever you want to call it, like filled with urine and usually also urinating enough to soak the towel that I was sleeping on, on top of the trash bag. And occasionally, you know, it would go onto the sheets and then soak into the mattress protector. So Luckily, like that's not the case now. So like I said at the beginning, you probably understand why I haven't shared this with too many people. Um, I really only shared it with people I was extremely close to and knew who knew that they would love me no matter what and people who I could trust because that is not a secret that I would want just to get out, especially in like the teenage years when gossip and ridicule happen frequently. But all that being said, as I'm potty training my daughter, um, which an update on, on Aubrey, she really hasn't had many accidents during the day. When she has had accidents, it's because she's like maybe gone without a nap and it's towards the end of the day, she's tired, maybe she's distracted. And then all of a sudden, like she has an accident, but we really haven't had one for a good number of weeks at least. And I still have her wear a diaper at nap time, which occasionally she has a dry diaper if I like get her up like right when she wakes up. But she wears one at nap time and then obviously at night she still wears one. But because of my experience, I have no idea like when to expect her to sleep through the night and not need a diaper. <laughs> Cause I wore one until I was 18. So I'm a little, I'm a little lost when it comes to that. So for those experienced potty training parents out there, um, you know, at what point did you go from only needing like diapers at nap time or during sleep, you know, moments during the day to not needing diapers like at all? Because, you know, we're good for the most part during the day. Aubrey tells me when she needs to use the restroom, a lot of times she'll go on her own. Um, but I just, I don't know what to expect when it comes to the nighttime or naps. 
we've tried to go without diapers at naps and that's had, like I said, good and bad experiences. So I just kind of figured I'd play it safe and let her know, like, you know, she, she goes like, sometimes pee pee comes out when I sleep. <laughs> so obviously, you know, she's not really ready for diaperless nights or whatever, but I just, I don't know how long this period of diapers only when sleeping like should occur. So please, down in the comments, let me know um, what your experience is as a parent or as someone who's helped potty train another child or whatever, because I am very clueless when it comes to this. But anyways, I'd like to thank you guys for watching this video. Um, if you guys are new here, again, I'd like to welcome you to subscribe and stick around. I share kind of my life and all things mom. Uh, I really hope that my struggles growing up and probably one of my life's biggest secrets is helpful or at least entertaining to anyone out there. Um, I'm glad that it's not really tormenting me anymore and I, that I feel more comfortable sharing it. If you guys have questions, let me know down in the comments. I can always do like a follow-up video, but I, I think I got most of the points across. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I will catch you guys in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.